were standing in the Onken Parish Hall, and it's a building which is very important to yourself, and it's something which is connected with the award of the Rye Bleen of Ananen. What, what is the background to this building, and why is it so important? Right, well, the background to this building is in Onken, they didn't have a hall where people could meet when they had a lecture, when the commissioners came along, uh, and any elections took place in Onken School the old Onken school, where they had to slide back the petitions to make it a big enough room. So it was decided in Onken um, to raise money to put up a public hall that would have two purposes, one to be a public hall and secondly to be the Sunday school for St. Peter's. And so a local builder came up with a sketch for a hall of which the committee, which I think was the captain of the parish and the vicar, um, and a couple of others, oh no, we don't like that. And then somebody said, well, there's this young architect called Bailey Scott, why don't you ask him? And he came up with something which was so unusual. I mean, can you imagine today somebody turning up with the equivalent of the Shard or something in London and saying, well, here's my scheme. But they said, yeah, that's great. And of course, what it provided was the large public hall on the ground floor and underneath was used partially uh, for the Sunday school, but they used the big hall as well because there were so many children. But the hall underneath was used by the men of the village where they could come and smoke and read newspapers <laughs> and play skittles and, and so on. So it became an important feature of the village and also, of course, used for elections. But the thing is, um, it has survived all this time. There have been some alterations uh, as time has gone on. More recently, there have been more sympathetic alterations than perhaps there was in the 70s. But yes, it is important. Uh, the connection, I suppose, with the award is the fact that having been told um, Culture Vannon will give a cheque for £500 to... Um, a charity to a body to a group of my choice well then I chose this which I still call the village hall rather than parish hall and and so it's going towards future maintenance and in telling us about the background of it you discussed the history and you've touched on architecture as well now these are two threads which are, are very strong in your own life what was it that brought you to those two particular uh, pursuits well an interest in Manx history came at the age of nine uh, when in Miss Pedder's class at Onken School we were each issued with a CWN oh, History yes. of the Isle of Man, yeah, the orange coloured one. The orange and the uh, yeah, the red, red one came a lot later mm. and we, we never dealt with it. We never had any lessons but this book was in our desk and so I used to look at the pictures uh, a lot and my father had a copy of Dusty Miller's It's a Fact which again mm. I would go through reading the pictures and on one occasion uh, we had a Sunday school picnic uh, from St Anthony's in Onken and all the lads were sort of standing around the back of the coach driver as he drove, couldn't do that these days and, and he would ask questions and okay people would guess the answers, I would say what I thought and he turned to me and said you seem to know a lot and you know I thought great something of which I'm good at. Um, so that was the history element. Uh, and then the architecture element came when I was 12. Uh, you're allowed to go in the Manx Museum then, unaccompanied children over 12. And I went to see an exhibition uh, of old postcards of the Isle of Man, and then went through the door adjoining, this was down on the lower level, which took me into the library. Not a soul there just the librarian working away in his office. And there were these books, I picked one out, turned out to be a directory, and there was a section on Onken. I thought, oh, right, started to look through it. Oh, well, that building's still there, that building's still there. So that gave me an interest in buildings. And then at the high school, when I came to GCE, I managed to persuade the head to let me drop Latin, which I was terrible at, and take art instead, which was unheard of for somebody from the top stream to do art. But the art, GCE, included the history of architecture. Mm. So the master then, Ron Brown, would give you um, roneoed notes each week and you'd write them up in your book. And uh, he left after a term, 
but I'd taken an interest in it, so I was the only pupil in the school to take it, and I self-taught for two years, mm. so that gave me a greater interest. But then the history and the architecture came together. Mm. And they certainly have done subsequently with your uh, role with the uh, Victorian Society and other, many other societies in the island. Uh, uh, yes, and um, I notice in the press release from Culture Bannon, it referred to my 60 years of research, uh, which it was at the end of last year. And uh, not only was it research, but it was actually sharing mm. uh, the fruits of my research with other people, which I've done through newspaper articles, Kelly's Eye on the radio, and, and so on. And I'm happy to do it uh, because it spreads the word. And hopefully when I'm gone, someone will remember some of it. Mm. Molia Solia, congratulations, many congratulations on the award of the RBV. Thank you very much. Mm.